Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming to you live. <coughs> Does that happen every time? Do I have to clear my throat every time I say I'm coming to you live? <laughs> it is Wednesday morning, January 11. Holy cow, how is it the 11th already? Um... So I come to you live every Wednesday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And you can find me any other time on my website at dazzledbystamping.com. So um, let me know when you are here. And I'm going to refresh my page a second um, so that I can see comments, even while I'm stamping. Actually, sometimes that's the only way I can see it is because I refresh my page. Hi, Nancy. Good morning. Um, uh, so I have a few of you on. Um, and Carrie's on. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take a minute while everybody's getting on to get a drink again, because I always need it anyway. Hi, Dot. Thanks for sharing already. Um. So as you can see, I'm still coming to you vertical or portrait as opposed to landscape. I keep trying. Um, Facebook still hasn't fixed it yet. I, I don't know what their problem is. That's really annoying. But anyway, I'm here, so that's good. I've been able to stay live. <laughs> I didn't have, haven't had connection problems since that one day when I had to come live three times. Um, so we're just going to be thankful that we can be on and I can share pretty things with you. Um, so quick reminder, um, in case this is the first time that you're watching me, I share, I give away what, um, what it is that I show. Um, so... Last week, I had two projects, two cards. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so I give away... Hi, Marcia. I give away um, what I make on... Um, yes, thanks, Dot. And I sort of get to see you. I always feel like I see you, but I don't really see you. I just see your words come across the screen. <laughs> um so I um, so I give away what I show. So the way that you are entered into, I call it my randomizer, the way that you're entered into my drawing, hi Terry, I was so glad to see you last night finally, um, is to share my video. Um, so share my video on your um, your newsfeed or however, whatever you call that. I, I never, it seems like it changes names and I don't know. It used to be called a wall. I don't think it's called a wall anymore. It's crazy. Anyway, share my video and then you need to come back and tell me that you shared because um, I can't see most of the shares. In fact, somehow, uh, then I, I saw probably half of them last night. I was, I was setting up my randomizer, putting my names in and like, I couldn't see, it said I had so many and I could see how like half of them of that. So tell me that you did that and um, hopefully, well, that certainly helps me and I appreciate you supporting me, um, but hopefully it helps you and your friends too because I try to be cheerful and so hopefully it's a uplifting point of their day. So, you know, hopefully it's a win-win-win. <laughs> okay. So I have a few of you on, so I'm just going to go right to my randomizer. I have all my um, names loaded, and we have some Silly Goose cards to give away. Um, it was, they're so fun to make. Even though it was coloring, it was fun. So I have my names loaded. I have to click one more thing, and then I can start. I have had to find my post-it notes last night. I found that. Except now I lost my pen. Oh, there it is. Ha! Jamie Rose. I don't think she's on yet. Oh, hi, Janet. I have your cards for you. I will send them soon. We missed you last night. Um, Jamie, when I if whenever you get, it is uplifting. Question mark. 
<laughs> that that's not very encouraging. I'm not sure what you're trying to say because I don't know your tone. <laughs> um, uh, Jamie, when I put your name in my randomizer last night, I was recalling how you um, were feeling guilty because you won so much before, and then he had a was it just a week off or was it more than that? Now you're my winner again. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, so I'm going to pick one more name because um, I have one more project to give away. Names are flying by Terry. Yay, you won again. I just gave her her stuff last night when I saw her. I'm so bad at getting them out. Okay, but I'll see you again Saturday. Um, okay, so I'm done with my randomizer. Uh, <laughs> that's too funny, Dot. Were you trying to do exclamation marks instead of question marks? <laughs> Leave it to you. At least I know you're joking if you say that sort of thing. <laughs> um, uh, good morning, Marlene. How are you? We missed you last night, too. Um, and we're praying for you and your mom and... We had lots of chattings that were needed last night. So many people going through so many things. It's just crazy. It's not fun getting old in this uh, imperfect world. It's no good. No good at all. Um, okay. So, but remember, I was going to be uplifting. <laughs> uplifting? Question marks? Um, okay, so today I'm sharing with you... Um, the next stamp set that we're going to be playing with at my next Dazzling Card Club. So if you've forgotten what Dazzling Card Club is, um, it is, um, I do this class monthly. Um, you get to make um, four, four cards, well, eight cards, two each of four designs. And... Um, the class is $35 um, if you are here or you pick it up. Um, um, if you want to do it through the mail, then it's $45, and it includes the shipping of your packet to you. So it includes all the supplies that you need. First of all, it includes $20 a product at least, um, and it includes the everything's cut and whatever. I can't stamp it. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but... Um, even if you do it through the mail or if you pick it up and take it home, um, you need the stamp set or you need to use something that would work with it, um, with the, the stuff that I'm giving. Because be we cannot pre-stamp your stuff and then send it to you or give it to you for assembly. That's not, we can't do classes like that. Um, it's one thing if it were a gift, um, but this is a class. So anyway, so I choose a stamp set each month and you get um, a product included. And um, so it, I always have it on the first Tuesday of the month. So the next date like that will be, I about said January, February 7, which is the Tuesday. I have a morning, afternoon and evening class. And then I also do one uh, on Friday morning. <clears throat> so you can do it in person you can do it through the mail um you can pay for in person but then come and pick up your packet if you prefer um so what i'm choosing to work with this month is called conversation bubbles so these are um um Oh, this stamp set. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. This stamp set is from the new mini catalog that just started January 5. And um, so we're going to be playing with this. And it's a totally fun stamp set. And I have specific product in mind. I'm not using that product today. I'm just showing you completely different um, samples with this, um, this stamp set. So it also includes the bubble um, dies for the die cutting machine. There's two missing that I'm going to be using. Um, so it's just a fun bundle. And I think it's on page 39 of... Um, did I do that right? 39 of the um, the mini catalog. 
which I actually can show you that. So there's obviously more samples in the catalog too. Since the catalog is live now, I can show you the inside of the catalog. So I might do that when I put you guys down to check it out. So I have, um, I'm going to be using um, products, uh, specifically designer paper. This is not what we're using at the class, but I wanted to use this designer paper. It's and then I only have four sheets because two of them I completely used up for my, um, my clubs this month. Um, so this is called Country, I think it's backwards, Country Floral Lane. So here's one side of them. And it is 12 by 12 if you can't tell that. Here's the other side. So I have this thing that I do. I don't know how you guys are, but... Um, there are a few holidays, um, Valentine's included, that I don't usually buy a Valentine's set. I might buy, buy the things that are sort of around it. I love the designer paper. Um, in fact, I'm just going to, rather than, since I don't have the wide camera anyway, I'll just show you, I'll show you this. So here is, it's page eight of this hi jamie guess what you won again um so here's the projects using this suite it's called country floral lane suite and um the paper is one of two that's in the suite so this one is 12 by 12 and it's what i'm using today this one up here is sorry it's hard going backwards sometimes when i'm when I'm looking at me doing it and then trying to make my finger go backwards because it's going the opposite way. Um, this is all gingham. What's it called? Country, probably country. Oh, country gingham. Um, so anyway, I sometimes buy the designer paper, but I don't typically buy a Valentine set. It's such a quick holiday. Um, so I like to go, I work around it with other things. So typically I won't have a happy Valentine's day stamp set or stamp. Um, uh, anyway, that's just how I do things. And Halloween is sort of the same way. Um, I may or may not do Halloween. I'm not a big Halloween person. Um, but I'll do fall things and stuff like that. Um, unless there's a really cute set, like there was a literally a stamp set called cute Halloween or something like that. I loved it. It was too cute. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to use this designer paper, um, today with my bundle that I'm using. So I'm going to put you down. Um, I have to remember my all mixed up since I'm portrait. Okay. I'm going to, I need my magic wand. I'm going to on backwards you and I do need to upside down you, sorry. Um, and here we are. Okay. Um, I'm sorry I'm breaking up on your phone. Hopefully it's just yours. Because I'm still live, so ha, we'll see. Okay, so um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the designer papers. Um, this is the one. That it has, oh, it's missing some of it. It has all the colors that I'm going to use later. So I'm not sure what this one is. Just a second. Oh, maybe it's just a softened sweet sorbet. Okay, so there's sweet sorbet, mossy meadow, um, pit, just set, not pale papaya, petal pink. And then there's a little bit up here of mint macaron. Um, it is pretty paper. Find on your... Okay, thanks, Marlene. I appreciate it. It's just Dot that's being goofy, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> I hope people that watch me know that um, I love Dot. So, but she is easy to give a hard time to because <laughs> she's so fun. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to be using this paper and I'm using my silicone mat, of course, because it totally helps me. This is a fun side too. I'm gonna use it later. Um, it totally helps me with making sure that my, um, 
my seal adhesive works the way that it's supposed to. So I'm just putting this on um, a layer of petal pink. And actually, so I'm going to put this on here like this, but I, I, I'm not attaching it yet because I wanted to see like where it sat because I want to put a little border on here. So um, here's the stamp set again. I'm grabbing this tiny little flower right there, this little tulip, and I'm going to make a little bit of a border. So I sort of could eyeball it. Oops. So hopefully I have it in the right spot. So I wanted it to go, I wanted the designer paper to cross over this. So I needed to know how high up it needed to be. Okay. By the way, this was Sweet Sorbet. And this is probably the first time that I've used Sweet Sorbet. I, for some reason, I, it just, it hasn't struck me, but it's really pretty actually. Um... So I am <clears throat> um, it definitely has a peachy tone to it. Like it sort of reminds me of do you remember when we had something watermelon? Watermelon what was that color? Watermelon wonder what has to be another W word, but I don't know what it is. Um, um so we have this. So now I'm going to do my um, my stamp, my words. So I decided with this one, I wanted to do a thank you. And I decided that I wanted my the frame, the bubble of my words to be one color and my actual words to be another color. So I'm using the Sweet Sorbet marker. Stampin' Blends don't, no, do Stampin' Blends work with this? I feel like they don't work well trying to ink up your, your stamps, but I also know that it doesn't work well trying to do this, trying to do photopolymer stamps this with this method. Um, the marker just doesn't like to stay on there. Okay. So you don't have to color all the sides of um, this bubble like I did. <laughs> I was just trying to go too fast. Okay, now my thank you is going to be black. I always like using the side of my brush tip to do this. And this bubble is nice and big open, so I better be careful what I say so I don't mess up when I... When I say so, there's plenty of room so you don't get the ink on each other. <laughs> Just my luck. Thanks for sharing, Janet. Okay. So whenever you do this method, you have to huff it or re-wet it. That does not mean blowing. You don't put your lips together like you're blowing out a candle. You open your mouth and you you go <sighs> like you're, you're heaving. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, you want moist air coming from your mouth, not dry air, like blowing out a candle. So my, um, my mouth was almost touching it. There, look, nice. Okay. So for this card, um, I'm going to take the easy route and I'm going to set this aside, um, but the next one I will put it through the um, put it through the machine. Um, so one thing about these dies, um, I don't know if you can tell. Sometimes you can't you can't tell because sometimes it just gives a little border. <laughs> yeah, like you're cleaning. Thanks, Dot. Like you're cleaning your glasses. Um, 
Um, this actually cuts out both of these lines, both the outside line and the inside line. So <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Plus it gives a little bit of texture. Let's see if I can show you. So I ran this through twice because I wanted my words on white, like I showed you, but I wanted my the bubble itself on black. Can you see that there's texture on that bubble? There's little lines. Um, so it cuts out both. So when you want to actually use, um, if you want to pop this up or put it on something else, um, you do need to run it through twice. So there's ways that you can um, not have to do that. But for this one, I'm doing it. So, um, so I'm just going to put this down with adhesive. And I'm going, I put kind of a lot down because I'm going across borders here. So I thank you here. Now, I used um, adhesive sheets on the back of my black cardstock before I ran it through so that I didn't have to try to get a tiny little line of adhesive on the back of this. So now I can just put this right down here. So I have my thank you card and I wanna add some bling. So for this card, I'm using iridescent rhinestones I have another package of these somewhere, but I could not find them in my mess right now. Um, so I ordered another pack last night. Okay, so these, I love these because um, they take on whatever color um, that they're near. So this one's, depending on how you look at it, it's going to look sort of pink probably because of the sweet sorbet, but also... It's next to the peach, so it can look kind of peachy. Anyway, so this is this is my card. So I used the designer paper like this. Now I'm going to make a card using all the same colors, but I'm gonna stamp um, the extra colors rather than just have designer paper to do this. Thank you, I'm glad that you like it. Excuse me, so I'll set this one aside. And I'm done with this. And I'm done with this die. We already did that one. Okay. So here are my pieces for this. So I'm going to get my, no, I'm not going to get my base down first. Well, part of it. I'll put these two done. Okay. So both of these pieces, this is the back of that one. Um, they're going to be part of my base. Thank you. I'm glad you girls like it. Well, I assume there's all girls on. No guys have told me that they're watching right now, but I know sometimes they do. Okay, so putting this down. And then, so I sort of have in mind, well, let me, let me start over. So I'm going to put this down. Oh, it's a little bit off, but I'm okay with that. Not too much. Okay, so whenever I'm putting down a strip like this, um, it may not be perfect, but thanks for sharing, Jamie. Um, but I keep in mind that typically what I would want is I want this border to be even with this border to be even with this border. So that's how I know where I put it down like this. Um, so now this border over here is about the same as this one. So that's how I figure that out without putting my pieces all on here first. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside because now I'm going to do some stamping. So first thing, first thing that I want to, oh, it's going this way. It would be good to make sure that I have it correct. So it's going this way, not this way. I would have a problem that way. And I did that specifically for a reason. I didn't want two even squares here. I wanted one to be skinnier than the other one. It just, it's pleasing to the eye. Okay, 
So now what I want to do, I'm going to use my sweet sorbet again. Oops, I just got it on my fingers. Um, and I'm going to grab this um, conversation bubble. And we're going to put it right here. And then... Grabbing, I'm grabbing a plain conversation bubble because I'm going to stamp in it. So I'm just sort of making just a whimsical um, conversation here, I guess we'll say. I don't know that we don't want to call it a conversation, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, both of those were petal pink. Then there's an exclamation mark. Dot knows about those, but she usually uses question marks. <laughs> Love you, Dot. Um, that was mint macaron, by the way. And I'm going to stamp my words in here now. So I have, where did it go? Oh, I have sweet. That is going in here. By the way, I have a quick mention for you. I've been, I don't know what the deal is, but I've been finding some of my stamps lately have too much, like it's not centered well with how it's, how they're die cut. And so I still have my craft and rubber scissors that I use, but you can use whatever scissors that you have. So if you're going to cut off um, any of this rubber because it gets in the way and you ink it up, um, you want to make sure that you use your scissors and cut like this. Don't cut like this. Um, you have to work really hard to make sure that you're cutting. So let's see what kind of... Well, it's a 45 degree angle, but it's going this way instead of this way. Does that make sense? Like if you cut this way, you leave too much rubber and cut too much cushion. You want to leave the cushion so you still have a, I guess I'll say firm foundation underneath the stamp itself to be able to cut it. Um, if it's really bad, I'm sure Stampin' Up! probably would, um, would replace it, but... I don't want to bother with that. I would. I want to use my stamp set. So, my other words that I'm doing are love ya. So this would be an awesome Valentine's card because it doesn't say Valentine's, but it can look very Valentine's-y. Um, okay, so here's my my stuff. I guess I should have pulled this down a little bit, but whatever. Um, okay, so I have my um, my adhesive sheet on the back, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to use my machine here a second, my mini boss. So for this one, I'm not totally cutting and and. I'm just leaving this here. I'm not trying to cut out what I stamped. I'm just stamping that on there. But I want to put a different border on um, on the bubble. So I'm running it through, um, oopsie, I'm running it through the machine so that I can get a nice border. I was gonna pull out my boho blue mini boss and then I just didn't I you know me and going to bed late and I just decided not to add one more thing but it will be at hostess appreciation Saturday so you can see it and decide that you're going to join my team so you can get the machine or just because you want to join my team because then it's a good deal all right
So, I, did you guys know that there's all these tools in here? Um, putting it back in, locking it back in, but, um, so I'm done with my frame. So here's my frame that I'm going to put, this one is just plain, there's no texture on it. A couple of them have texture, a couple of them don't. Um, now I just have to get the adhesive backing off. Should have left that piercing end out to do it. Oh, okay. I want to put this down first. I forgot. Because it might overlap. That's what I originally had intended, but we'll see. We'll see how much I did that. I was going for a different look a little bit than my original sample. Okay, so this is going down. And then my frame can go right on here. Oh, that's much better than my first one. There we go. On my first one, this, this border right here was showing inside my bubble, and I didn't like that. Okay, so there's sort of my... I'm going to show you this again. So I took all these colors and put them here. Hmm, makes me happy. All right, now let's finish out the card with some fun things. More fun things. <clears throat> I found that I needed more black, but I decided that I did not want to just do, like last week when I needed more black, um, I did a black border around everything, and I didn't want to be boring and do that same thing again. So this is just a quarter of an inch of black cardstock, and I'm just putting it between these two borders, and it helps everything pop a little bit. Okay, now, I don't know if you noticed, because it, it didn't last long, but there are two different, I'm gonna, I didn't show you for very long, I'm gonna show you again. There are two double heart dies, and so I used those already in Sweet Sorbet, and I put them right on my um, mini glue dots so that I can lift them off. This one I did not do well centering it on the mini glue dot, so I need to get that on there better. All right, so one's going to go here. It's just sticking out. Why can't I get it off? There we go. Put one here. And then put one here. Okay. One last thing. I haven't used these in a while. So these are 2022 and through 2024 in color matte decorative dots. So I have Sweet Sorbet. Oh, I haven't said this color in a long time. Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. So, obviously, I want my um, sweet sorbet here. And I'm going to use my handy-dandy tool. And I just want these little ones. Oops. There. That's it. That's all I'm doing. And my cards are done with my conversation bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to put you back up. I'm going to lift it a second. So I'm going to on upside down you, put you backwards again. So then you can read up now. And here's my card. I love this one so much. This one makes me happy. And wouldn't it be a cool Valentine's card? I think so. And then here's my first card. I feel like I could use maybe some more flowers on there, but I didn't want to do too much on this card. So 
Thank you. I'm glad that you ladies enjoy them. Okay. <clears throat> Some reminders. First of all, thank you, ladies. First of all, um, I sent out a reminder email this morning. I scheduled it. I didn't I didn't do it. I was not up at that time. Um, I, I have, well, I, and I've gotten three more, three more reservations, registrations. Um, there are three spots left for our retreat. The retreat itself is on February 25. Sherry, I saw that you got in. I'm so happy. Um, um, once those are gone, then it's full, it's done. So there are technically two weeks left to register. You have till February 1, but I'm not sure those spots are going to last until then. So um, check your emails, or I will also put a um, a link in. When, once I'm done with this video, I go and edit the top, give you details and stuff like that. Um so I'll put a link in there to remind you. Also, registration is open for my Dazzling Card Club for this Conversation Bubbles um, stamp set. So I will be, um, um, I'll put a link for that registration also. I haven't sent out that invitation, but if you go to find it, I'm not sure how you would find it yet. Anyway, it's open and I'll, I'll give you a link and an email invitation will go out tomorrow. So, um, so you'll have that. Okay. I can't think of anything else. I, I can't think of anything. So I think those were all the reminders that I needed to tell you. So many of you I will be seeing on Saturday at Hostess Appreciation. I'm so excited. I have so much to do, <laughs> like usual. And um, so thank you for joining me today. And I will see you, um, I will see you then. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Oh, and see you next Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Bye.